Hello pilots and welcome back to Flight Academy Season 3. As always, my name is Phil and today we have Game 6 of Group 1. We are finally at the halfway point of this group. As always, the format rules are in the description below, but joining me for this matchup we have... And my name is Fraser. Thank you for the invite, Phil. Appreciate it. No worries, Fraser. Again, helping you scope out your potential opponents in the finals. Uh, we have Indeed. two very stacked ships here. Nine health apiece. So let's quickly run through it. So on the left, we have Andy. He is running the resistance transport with Pamic Nero Good. Uh, probably the longest name in the game. With automated target priority. Yeah. Jamming Beam, Ion Cannon, Proton Torpedoes, Corsella, because it's resistance, why not? Rose Tycho, yeah, yeah. R4 Asimek, and the Shield Upgrade. And uh Interesting, yeah. Yeah. The less kitted out ship here. Yeah, the, the lesser kitted out. And let's look at the ship that brought the kitchen sink with it as well. What's Wes flying for Indeed. us? Wes and his kitchen sink is flying Ten Num with Elusive, the fire control system, auto blasters, the heavy laser cannon, the advanced proton torpedoes, hull upgrade, uh, the B6 blade wing prototype, the standardized version, and the weapon system officer, and of course the uh, S foils. I think that the S-Foils on the B-Wing are probably the best variant of the S-Foils. They are ridiculous. Um, Mental, the car. Yeah. I mean, especially when you've got all of those tools at your disposal. You've got two cannons, a missile, like torpedoes. You've got a fire control system. It's just crazy. What is on Tenom? And a gunner slot. Yeah. From the pro from the title, a gunner slot of all things. I I love Tenom. I love B wings. Obviously, a couple of weeks back, I flew the four B wings against your brother, and I hope he's not having any nightmares about that matchup because it was kind of brutal what they did to his stuff. Um, but I. Oh, he's moved away to uni. I don't mind if he is. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do love the B-Wing, but let's have a look. We've got our first shot coming in from Wes into the sofa. Um, a very interesting choice when Andy sent me that list. I was a bit like, okay, that's going to be that's gonna be very interesting. You don't see it I mean, you would often. never have thought. You would have never thought, I'm going to bring the sofa. Yeah, especially in like a 1v1. And... We very rarely even see that part of the transport. Normally, we see just the pod. So, and Indeed. the pod would not have been viable in this at all. I think the most you can make that's 45 points. <laughs> oh, yeah, no way. But um, there's two damage in there from Pendum, and he is spending his target lock to double tap with the auto blasters there. Uh, Unfortunately, nothing. He kind of wishes he still mm -hmm. had the target lock to allow him to re-roll that. He does. But that's a bit of a shame. But let's see what Andy can do in return there. Big four dice attack. So that'd be the proton torpedoes. Those things are brutal. Uh, three hits and a crit into the beach. Oh, strong start. Tendum is not going to enjoy that with one evade and blanks out there but will spend oh. elusive another blank out. That's all shields gone. Oh, that's, yeah. I mean, that, that's a real shame. That transport has come out winging straight away. That is just incredible. I mean, do you, do you want to tell your lovely subscribers that this video is sponsored by DFS? <laughs> uh, no, there's no bank holiday coming up, so they don't have any sales on at the moment. That'd be a true, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the resistance transport was probably one of the most out there options that people took this season, and I was very surprised by it. But I mean, just look at what you've got stacked on there proton torpedoes, ion cannon, Corsella. I mean, Corsella is ridiculous. Rose Tycho, just to get those target locks. I mean, this ship has an insane ability in itself. While you have two or fewer stress tokens, you may execute red maneuvers 
even while stressed. So that's three. And then you've got Corsella. Now, Corsella's the one I don't like, isn't it? Because that's the one that says, just get rid of all your stress when you do a balloon. Yeah. So you just do... Oh, you, yeah. You, oh. you basically go, right, I'm in position now. Three turns of going nowhere. And then I'll get rid of it. I mean, look. Yeah. And the three... And the one backwards as well. It has a one reverse. I mean... One of the only ships that can go backwards. Uh, Insane. I think you've got that, the quad jumper, yep. and the trident. The squid. The tri- yeah. They're the only ones that I know that can go in reverse. Um... But yeah, that that's just incredible. And with the amount of red maneuvers on this ship, its ability plus Corsella is just going to be silly, really. But oh, range. But, but has went back into a corner. But then does Andy care? I mean, it's a corner that Andy can what get out it? of. Exactly. Like it's not. It's not going to be too worried by that. Um, but we do have a range one shot coming, and it is going to be an advanced proton torpedoes to start oh, things yeah. off. This is the one. This is the one. Let's for Wes. see. That's not bad. Two hits there. Does he spend the target lock on both, or just yeah. fire control one? I almost want to say just fire control one Ugh. would be because if, if he spends it on both, he then yeah. can't double tap with the S foils. Yeah. Yeah. But what about the weapon system officer? Oh yes, weapon system officer. I always forget about that. Which I think I'm, he is going for the firing control. I think he's going for firing. I think um, Wes may have forgotten about weapon system officer as well. It's, yeah. When you've got that many cards, it's so easy to forget about that. Uh, this is the thing, though. When when you're building a, a normal game list, having too many cards can possibly be a disadvantage because you've just got so much to remember. Yeah. So things things to think about. Oh, absolutely. But that does bring Andy under He's harm. Uh, we have that double tap coming in. Heavy laser? I wouldn't be heavy laser, but shouldn't be heavy laser anyway because it's at range one I believe oh, no. that's yeah. auto blasters your yeah and another point of damage going through there so good good solid round there for where's ion torpedoes there ion cannon there I believe Ooh. Oh, yeah, so there's going to be one damage and an ion, which that's going to work out pretty good there for Andy, actually, knowing exactly where Wes is going to be. Because Andy could just back up, leave him a bit of space and go for it. Yeah. Now this has changed because he he does go back. He's got got to go backwards. Wes is going to go forwards and he's going to be in just as good a position as before. The tricky thing is, well, the, the good thing for Andy is that he won't, Wes won't be able to get that target lock, so he won't be able to double no. tap. So that is one advantage. Wes does still have the initiative. True. Hood. Hood potentially do three hull easily. Auto blasters, if he has heavy laser cannon, there is the potential that he could score big which is not going to be ideal for Andy but <sighs> he's going to have a focus so as long as he gets enough paint he could do it yeah however I think if he doesn't I think Andy will capitalise on it so he's got to make it count absolutely so let's see it's a stop Oh, I think that is not too bad, actually. Uh, Where's just doing the one forward ion? I'm curious if the one bank ion might have been a little bit better, but he wouldn't have got a shot. So doesn't bump. No. Gonna take that focus. Gonna have a range one shot. So 
range one auto blasters or just range one standard. Wes has got to hope for a really strong result here. I don't think it matters particularly because he's still in auto. Yeah. But let's see what we have. Four dice. Lots of dice. Lots of dice make a count. Not stressed of all I can't use ten on his ability, but it has the focus anyway, so. As well, Wes hasn't actually stressed himself yet to really use ten on no. ability, but he hasn't hasn't been in a position to do it. Oh that's That's three. That is three hits there. Is that going to be enough? Will that take out Havoc, Nero, Good? And it does. It, it does. does. Oh, well done, Wes. Oh, well done. I was a little bit concerned there for a second. I thought that there was some cheeky shenanigans going to go on there. That was tense. But that was some... It was aggressive, just straight up going down at Andy there, just to take him out. I mean, that is a trick. You know, that transport is actually a tricky one to contend with because that... That was, yeah. That reverse manoeuvre and Rose Tycho on there, spending a result to get a target lock, is insane. But well flown there from Wes, just taking it to Andy and just getting that wind out there. So really good to see. But let's have a quick look and see where we're at for the halfway point results. So at the halfway point, top of the table, we still have myself again with the two wins, two kills. Andy is taking that second slot, seven points, two wins, one kill. Wes gets himself off the mark with a very good four points there for that great showing against Andy. Amazing. So really good there. But it's still quite a close group. We still have six games to go. This can change quickly. Each player has a potential of 12 points to score. So we could see this rapidly mix up. But... Fraser, thank you very much for joining me for that. I hope you enjoyed that, and especially seeing a ship that you oh, I did. probably don't see very often. Yeah. No, it was good to see the transport. Um, unfortunately, the video video was not sponsored by DFS, but great to see it nonetheless. And guys, like I said, don't forget, stick around. Game two is coming very soon, but we will see you next time. <laughs>